On Thursday the 23rd of October 2008, a group of concerned adults attended an event at Battersea Arts Centre, South London. The event was initiated by WCEN's Multi-Faith Network with South West London and St George's Mental Health Trust. The issues discussed at this event are the following. What worries do children, young people and families have? What are the problems facing older people and their carers? What is talking therapy? How do people cope with mental health problems at home? A panel of speakers and community leaders each represented their own religions. The participating audience split into four groups to discuss the four main issues of the event. The half hour discussion allowed different religious communities to express their views with each other. Speakers and members of the audience expressed their personal views. I'd like to hear more about how the trust, how the Mental Health Trust is going to make a genuine effort to really hear what uh, black and minority ethnic communities and faith communities are saying. I learned that there's, there's a great enthusiasm within all the communities we serve and a great uh, enthusiasm for community leaders and the wider communities to get involved in, in mental health and understanding what the Mental Health Trust is about, but I guess more importantly understanding how we can then relate better with all communities that we serve. I feel that there is a need for the professionals to value the spiritual. I'd like to see some kind of conference or conversation where the spiritual could be, um, I would call it perceiving the spiritual, where professional people can understand more and value, respect, uh, appreciate and value more the importance of the spiritual dimension uh, in, in helping people who are affected by mental health. What I found interesting was, what I particularly learned was about the women's group within the Muslim community, which I think is a particularly important organisation. Um, and the meditation right at the beginning was lovely. It calmed everybody down before we started. I was really amazed to see the response. It was really uh, astounding to see the different communities coming together from the different faiths. And there is that sense of commonality and the community, it seems that they are ready and they want uh, to, to be pushed forward, meaning they are ready to receive that support and the funding to take this work forward. And it is a, a common problem that all of the communities are facing and the faith communities. So now that we have reached this stage and we have met together, I think, yes, we just need more support to take it forward. I'm kind of overwhelmed with the responses we've got from um, faith communities and their knowledge of mental illness. Um, we, we're all being kind of ignorant in thinking as a clinician, I have all the answers, I don't. Hello, I'm John Rafferty and I'm the chairman of the South West London and St George's Mental Health Trust. A foundation trust is a new kind of healthcare organisation. Previously, NHS trusts were account to have boards and were accountable to the Secretary of State for Health and the Department of Health and then Parliament. The idea of a foundation trust is, is that it's formed by the members of local communities. A foundation trust is a public benefit company and instead of having shareholders, local people become members and they elect a council of a council of members and that council of members appoints the chairman and the board and holds the board to account. So it's about local accountability. Well it's considerably different. It means that there will be regular meetings with local people in the council of members, the board will present the annual accounts, the board will explain what they're doing, the board will be held to account and the council of members in many ways will articulate, they will speak for the needs of local communities. And that's quite different from what's gone on before. Well, we're doing this in lots of ways. We want to recruit many of our members of staff colleagues um, into membership of the Trust. Every year we have 22,000 people in South London who use our services. We want to encourage them to be members. 
and we want to encourage as many members of the public as possible to become members. So we're having roadshows, we're having meetings with faith groups and churches, as we've been having today, and we're really trying to reach out in new ways um, to local communities throughout South West London. Well, I believe that when you look at local communities, churches and faith groups and faith communities in many ways make up the fabric of life in these local communities. They meet regularly, they talk to each other, they know each other, they know what's going on in local communities. And that's why we are talking to all of the faith groups um, and churches in South West London so that they can, in many ways, spread the news about the New Foundation Trust and encourage their congregations and participants to become members. Wandsworth Community Empowerment Network, smart community action for better social living.